What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about sending SMS or text message notifications to your users. So this is a great feature that you might need, especially if you're building something like appointments. You can send a text as a reminder that, hey, you need to make sure you don't forget your appointment coming up in 24 hours or something like that. So Twilio is the service we'll be using for this. There's a bunch of other options out there as well. Um, but Twilio is just a great one and it's cheap and easy to get set up, especially with Ruby. So let's dive in and create our account. So go ahead and create your account. Then you're going to look for the programmable SMS inside this menu on the side. And under the learn and build section, they're going to have a place for you to set up your first phone number. So you can create a phone number and for permanent use of Twilio, you have to pay for a phone number because you need to be having that phone number reserved for your application. And then once you have a trial phone number set up, you can send yourself a text message. And on the side here, it will show you how to do that in code. So they have a Twilio Ruby library that you can use. You have an account SID and your auth token, and you pass that in along with your message to whatever phone number that you are sending to, and it will print that out and actually send the message to you. So this is the code that we want to implement in our app to send out notifications. So let's go ahead and dive into building our app. So to get started, I've already generated a Rails application using the Jumpstart template, and we are going to be adding a phone number to our user model, which is generated through Devise. So your existing applications that you already have, you can just add the phone number to the user model, um, or whatever model you want to send that to. So let's generate a migration called add phone to users and we'll just have the phone number as a string, and we'll use a couple gems in our Rails app. But let's first run Rails DB Migrate, and then we can go to our gem file, um, and this is the Jumpstart gem file, of course, but we want to add a gem called PhoneLib and a gem called Twilio Ruby, and PhoneLib is gonna allow us to do validations um, for our phone numbers. So the PhoneLib library is built using Google's Lib phone number library and it basically recreates that inside of Ruby and uh, adds some active record and Rails integration so you have access to a bunch of different um, configuration options here but most importantly the active record integration is what we're interested in. We can just simply say phone is true and that will validate that that string is a phone number um, and then you have a bunch of other options here like allow blank and types and so on. So what we're going to be doing is just adding this validation right here to our user model. So let's go to our users and then let's say validates phone as a phone and we are good to go. So now we need to run bundle to install those two gems and we want to also run rails credentials edit environment equals development and inside of here we're going to add our Twilio credentials uh, so that we have access to those. So Twilio and we'll say account SID and auth token and you will just go into your Twilio account and paste in those keys here. Now also you could put in your phone number for your Twilio account in here alongside of your credentials. This doesn't really need to be kept in the credentials because it's not private. Um, anytime you send a text message from your phone number, that's going to be sent along with it. So uh, it's not private, but it could just be nice to have all these configuration items inside your cre credentials together. So let's go back to our application code now that we've added our credentials and let's go to registrations new. Um, let's go and add div class equals form group and close div and we're going to add a field here for our phone number. To do that we can say f.phone field phone and we'll add our bootstrap class of form control on here and you can optionally add placeholders and things like that. Um, so let's do that. So placeholder phone number and we're going to need to go into application controller to permit that extra parameter. So we already have this set up for device and so on sign up we'll ask for your name and the account update. We'll also ask for your name and phone 
um, so you can edit your registration as well. So if we go to registrations edit, we could copy that same thing. So let's go to registrations new, copy the phone, registrations edit, uh, paste that in under name. So now on our sign up page, we have a space for the phone number, which I've already filled out with a fake phone number. You want to put in your actual phone number so you can test this out. But of course, I don't want to put my real phone number in a screencast. So I'll change this and save my new user account. And to make sure we have device set up correctly, let's register for our account and go to settings and verify that our phone number was saved so we can dive into the actual Twilio stuff next. Alrighty, let's go and create a wrapper around the Twilio library just to make it easier to interface in our code with the Twilio uh, API. So let's make a directory called app services and inside of there let's uh, create a file called app services twilio client.rb and we'll define a class in here called twilio client. We'll define an initialized method in here and that will set an instance variable which you will be able to access um, through the adder reader for client. And this is where we're gonna instantiate the Twilio client and create um, or pass in those credentials for it. So if we open up the Twilio Ruby GitHub repo or go look at the code examples for Ruby, um, we can grab the Twilio REST client initializer right here. And rather than doing our account SID or auth token, we can actually implement you know maybe a method for that or just pass these in directly so we have rails dot application dot credentials dot twilio and this will give us a hash so we should be able to say count sid here and do the same thing for our auth token and our phone number so we'll say auth token auth token phone number and phone number. Now, if you want to test this out before you make these private, you can just go into the Rails console and say Twilio client dot new dot account SID and that should print out your account SID from your credentials file. Now, we don't generally need to access those methods um, anywhere outside of this class, so we'll go ahead and make those private methods because they're just kind of useful for internal stuff in here. And we can add a method called send text, um, and this will send to a user, for example, and we will send them a message. Um, and this is just going to be pretty straightforward. We will go and use this Twilio client dot messages dot create. We want to send this to user dot phone. We want to send it from the phone number and we're going to add in that message. And if you ever forget this stuff, take a look at the Twilio documentation, um, but you can set up the send SMS stuff just like so. And we probably need to do API account messages. This looks to be a little bit different than some of their other documentation. So just take a look at whatever's in the Ruby gem docs and that's probably the most accurate. Um, so the last thing we need to set body to that message that we received in the args. So let's say body is message and we should be good to go. But let me go and change this to api.account.messages.create and let's open the terminal and see if we can send that text message. So here we can say twilio client.new.send text to user.first and we'll say hello world. Um, from SMS and if we send this we will look up that user and then send a request to the Twilio API and all of that works like we would expect it. Here you can see the body of that um, was sent from your Twilio trial account so I'm on a Twilio trial and all of my messages will be prefaced with that at the beginning and the rest of this is going to include some information about the message SID and the price and all of that stuff as well. And here we can see that my Google Voice number received a text message from my Twilio account. I made a few tests as I was recording and all of those came through on uh, Google Voice just like I would expect it to. Same thing happens if you send this to a real phone number, it'll show up on your phone. 
You can also check the Twilio dashboard to see um, if your messages are going through. Just to verify that, you'll see the incoming and outgoing listed here on the programmable SMS dashboard. And you can also take a look at their debugger as well to help debug your API integration if you're having troubles. But for the most part, this is extremely easy to get connected. And in the next episode, we're gonna be talking about actually building out a conversation inside of Twilio so that users can reply to your messages. Because right now, we can send them a text, but they can't reply and it won't be processed by our application. So we can set up inbound text messages and process those and send responses back in our Rails app in the future. We'll talk about that in a future episode, but it works very similarly to the way that Action Mailbox works in Rails 6 to process inbound emails into your Rails app as well. So we'll talk about all that and more in future episodes, but until then, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.